So today, I put in my heart, you know, to say something very important, okay, about dreams. All right? It's very important because the last days I saw that demons try to impact Christians through dreams. And many, they suffer, you know, because of this demonic attack. Yes, Pastor. Many lost the sleep, okay, lost everything. Dreams in the decaying, you know, demonic activities in your life, okay? But that's not the will of God, okay? We must know as Christians what is the will of God, okay? Like in the night when you are ready to sleep, you say, me, don't jump into the bed because, you know, demons outside wait you mm -hmm. to distract your sleep. Mm -hmm. You understand me? You know, when you lie down and you shall not be afraid, okay? Yes, you shall lie down and your sleep, the word of God says, <coughs> shall be sleep sweet. Okay, Proverbs 3.24. <laughs> Open Proverbs 3.24 to see what it says here. Hallelujah. When thou liest down, thou shalt not be afraid. Yea, thou shalt lie down, and thy sleep shall be sweet. Amen. So this is the will of God. To go rest and to sleep, and your sleep shall be sweet. Amen. Without, you know, darkness, without any demonic influence. Sometimes people hear voices. They have a lot of activities, okay? It's time to stop that. Amen. You have authority through the Holy Spirit to stop that. I mean, so, but I have to say something here. Not all the dreams is from God, not all the dreams is from Satan, not all the dreams is from yourself. We have to be smart to know that there are three kinds of dreams, <coughs> okay? First, from God. <coughs> Look at what Job says, 43, 14, 18. For God speaketh once, yea, twice, yet men perceive it not. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, in slumbering upon the bed, then he openeth the ears of man, and sealeth their instruction, that they may withdraw from his purpose and hide pride from man. He keepeth back his soul from the pit and his life from perishing by the sword. Listen, you have to check. When you receive dream, you must know the spring of this dream, okay? If God spoke to you through the dream, spoke to you for today and tomorrow, he never is going to send your grandfather or your grandmother or relatives who pass away to talk to you. Do not believe. Jesus don't live in the past. Jesus lives today and tomorrow. Today is your opportunity. Tomorrow you have to have faith, you know, in case, you know, to go to be a forward looker or something new. But. When Jesus comes in your life to speak to you, he wants to direct you, mm -hmm. to give you, you know, instruction in righteousness, what you have to do <coughs> in case to talk to you who <coughs> are you in Christ, Amen. what must to do and how to do. Amen. Sometimes we don't know oh, who I am. I don't know if I'm Christian. I don't know. I don't know where I go. Okay? I don't know how to do that. You must know. Spend time with your word of God or spend time when you pray and ask the Lord. He's going to answer you. He likes conversation with you. So he wants to direct you. He's not a God of confusion, of disappointment, of step back, of failure. 
insecurity and all that. This is the family of demons. When demons come to you, he wants to disconnect you with God. But when you pray and fasting, you know, and read the word of God, is the steps to go close to Jesus. All right? So when God comes in your life, okay, actually you remember the dream. You remember what must to do. He's going to guide you the day after tomorrow. You have a problem with marriage. I don't know if he's from the Lord. This girl is from the Lord. And who knows? Your neighborhood? You must know, ask God. Before you make an activity. I don't know if I open business. Somebody tells me it's from the Lord. What kind of business? You want to open supermarket? Or you want to open fortune teller? You know? Depend. You don't need to ask God, you know, for negative things. That's because we need the dream of God. Mm -hmm. Mother Luther King said, I had a dream <laughs> that one day, you know, in this yeah. country, all they worship Hallelujah. God by yeah. His Spirit. Mm -hmm. Without color, without nationality, Hallelujah. nothing. Yeah. This is the will of God. Right now, the Holy Spirit works around the world, you know, to save people for many nations. Yes, yeah. hallelujah. You know what I mean? Many, Jesus. many denominations yes. now escape from the denomination. Yes. Hallelujah. Many people, you know, escape from the religion. Amen. Religion, they never says the truth. Mm -mm. Only the word of God. So learn Amen. trusting the voice of God. Hallelujah. Okay? Amen. And he's going to speak the voice of God, you know, powerfully. In every year, in every heart. Amen. Amen. <coughs> that I feel in my spirit. Mm -hmm. You understand me? <laughs> he wants, you know, to impact your heart with his power of voice Hallelujah. to direct you. Hallelujah. So keep that. Yes. Alright? He directs all the heroes here in the Bible. Alright? He said to Abraham, where must to go? He said to Moses, you know, go me this way. Through the wilderness, not through the beaches. <laughs> <laughs> Your trip, you know, from Egypt to the Promised Land was not a vacation. It takes time. Yep. They think that in 11 days, you know, they go there. Mm -hmm. But through the mountains <laughs> takes 40 years. Oh, that's, you know, we have to, to win the heaven, you know, through experience. Mm -hmm. All those heroes in the Holy Bible mm -hmm. who had successful life, mm -hmm. okay, he listened to the voice of God. And he gave to them direction. Yes. You need that direction. Amen. Stay with the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, people of God? Alright, so the first dream is from the Lord. Okay, the second dream is from the flesh. Look at what Isaiah says, 29 and verse 8. Please. It shall even as a, when a human man dreameth, and behold, he eateth, but he awaken, and his soul is empty. Or as when he thirsts, when a thirsty man dreameth, and behold, he dreameth, he drinketh, and he awaken, and behold, his soul is faint. <laughs> you see, when you are thirsty and you eat too much salty things, you know, you need water. Yeah. Your body needs water. So if you go to sleep, you know, you feel like you are under the Niagara Falls until you drink. <laughs> <laughs> or you dream, you know, that you have to go to the refrigerator, to, you know, a couple of glasses of fresh water, okay? The, the flesh has voice. You understand me? It's possible to have dreams from your body. Hallelujah. But number three, the most dangerous is, you know, when the dream is from Satan. Look what Apostle James 4, verse 7, what says. Commit yourself therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Amen. Resist. Don't do it what he says. He comes with temptation, okay? And tells you do that, do that. No, resist. Don't go and do it quickly. Wait. Hallelujah. <coughs> so now what we must do as Christians, all right? I'm going to say some example because, you know, we must learn to cast out, you know, the demonic presence in our dreams. 
Amen. You agree with what I say here? Amen. Amen. You agree. I know that some of you, they have that kind of bad experience, okay? There are demons that come to visit you while when you speak. They should have this experience, you know, and dreams, all right? I know sometimes, you know, they try to give you food. Actually, it was not food, but child, so all of that. Don't open your mouth, be awake, <coughs> wake up, and pray. And say, Satan, I command you out of me. Hallelujah. Don't touch me. My body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. I don't need your food. Hallelujah. I don't need your presence even when I sleep. I need the presence of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. I am his child. My name is in the book of heaven. Hallelujah. You understand me? That's it. Text. Action, be a warrior. Amen. You don't know a list of prayer, you know, from your religion. You need words of the Holy Hallelujah. Spirit in your mouth. Hallelujah. So dream. <laughs> to eat in your dream, you know, is dangerous. You need deliverance. Okay? Uh, sometimes you, you fly, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Stop to fly. Yeah. Lighting. <laughs> <laughs> Landing in your bed and pray. It's not from the Lord. I have my own experience because I tempted, you tempted. Satan hates me, hates you. He's a common enemy. We must learn the nature of our enemy to cast out from our life immediately. Don't give space. You understand me? Don't give space to him. Okay? One of the most dangerous is when there comes the unclean spirit to make sex with you. Mm -hmm. Included if you are a male or female. Mm -hmm. You know, there comes, you know, woman or kind of different of people. They touch your private area, they do bad things, you know. Some, you know, outside people, they rejoice. <laughs> they don't know how dangerous is that. You understand me? Yes. That Jesus provides husband, provides wife, provides everything in case, you know, to know to be free from that demonic activities. You understand me? Yes. Call my secretary and comes from deliverance. If you see somebody suffering in the night, you know, with this, unclean dreams, you know, go to Jesus and expose things, you know, that bothers you. When you swim in a dream, it's also dangerous because it's a sign of possession. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. Sometimes, you know, you attend meetings with unknown people. They talk. Actually, they want to steal you. Sometimes, you know, they threat you. Mm -hmm. Or they have plan, you know, to disconnect the time that you sleep. You understand me? I want to tell you what we must to do, you know. Are you being chased, you know, by human or animals in the dream? Mm -hmm. Like, sometimes, you know, yeah. <coughs> you don't know what's going on. Somebody press you. And you can stand up at the moment for a few minutes, yeah. you know? Uh -huh. Jesus don't allow to kill you. They don't kill you, but they kill you. Yeah. You understand me? If you feel like kind of, you know, press, right? You have to, to know that it's time, you know, to deliver yourself. So, <coughs> prayers, powerful prayers, anointing prayers, you know? <coughs> if you pray with an anointing of God, never will come back. He will see you. You have faith. You know? But be careful. You have to be holy person. Not in sin. Mm -hmm. Like if, if demons affect your life and next to your bed is your, your girlfriend, you understand me? And you rejoice, this demon never goes out. You understand me? If you, in the night, watches unclean things in TV, you can rebuke demons. 
They rebuke you. You understand me? It's very dangerous too. You have to play your role as Christian person. No one day Christian, Sunday Christians, Monday morning, worthy person in the world. You understand me? Eh? What I said? Hallelujah. So, right now, as you are about, you know, to sleep, okay? They are warming up and preparing to come and visit you as you sleep, like you are ready, okay? You have sometimes hard day, okay? And you are tired, you go to, to sleep, to rest. But unfortunately, you find yourself that you, you can rest because, you know, they waiting for you. It's your enemy to destroy you. <coughs> but this is the answer you can write here. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, any demon planning to visit me tonight, you can say, Holy Ghost, fire! Yes. That's the, the pills. That's the secret. When you see that signs of demonic influence, don't continue to sleep. Stand up on your feet and Holy Ghost, fire! Out of me, demons! Out of my environment! In this house, unclean spirit belongs to Jesus. That you have to say. And Jesus is my landlord. Amen. Amen. You know, invite Jesus to be a landlord in your life, no as a render, or no as a visitor. Come Jesus, come what? Stay Lord with me, day and night I need you, I love you, protect my children, my family, my wife, my business, my wallet. Demons wants you to be your wallet empty. You take your salary. Friday and Monday morning you borrow money. Disappear. Somebody steal your money. Somebody steal your prosperity. Jesus wants you to have enough. Jesus never creates beggars. Okay? If Jesus is with you, start new relationship with God from Monday and you will see signs of the blessings is going to come in your life. He is able to provide for you everything. He is a provider. He is a blessings provider. It's a solvable problem. Can you say with me? My Lord, my Lord. My Lord. is a blessings provider. It's a blessings provider. It's my Savior. It's my Savior. It's my Deliverer. It's my Deliverer. Hallelujah is my God. my God. God loves me. He loves me. He takes care of me. He takes care of me. I belong to him. I belong to him. I invite him today. I invite him today. To give me a new dawn. To give me a new dawn. A new future. A new future.